Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee. It is uh, three days after I did the mite treatment. So I'm just going to do a quick video here to take a look and see if we notice uh, a mite drop. So what we do is we pull out the bottom boards and just look and see if, uh, if there's perceptible, perceivable mites on the bottom board, just to see how the treatment's going. So it's, uh, it's not a bad day. It's turned out to be a pretty decent day. It's 17 degrees Celsius, 63 Fahrenheit, and it's been overcast all day and cool. So I'm thinking the bees are, are uh, not doing too much foraging yet. They might just be heading out now as things warm up. But bees hate mite treatment, so they're going to be ornery. And you don't have to open up the hive for this. You're just literally kind of sneaking around the back of the box or the side of the box and pulling out the bottom board. But I'm going to throw on a veil just in case because they, uh, like I say, they don't like having the mite treatments in there. And uh, we'll see if we can see them. And uh, hopefully you can see them on the video. And thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee. So this is my strong hive here and there's a good amount of activity on the landing board there. So you can see the guard bees and there's already some foragers that are coming back. So it means they've been foraging for a little bit. So this one has the bottom board that you can access from behind here. So let's just see what we see, if anything. Oh yeah, that's a lot of mites, boy. Boy, oh boy. It's a good thing when you have the bottom board in is that you see what the beehive is doing. So this is all wax from the cappings of brood. So this is all an area where brood has emerged, right? And here's another area where brood has emerged. And if you look through here, you can see that just the smallest dark specks are mites. So there's one right there. There's probably one right there. There's one. You see that? So, um, you know, quick count of mites that I can see, there's one right there. You know, maybe easily, uh, I'm going to say, 30, 40. Um, so that's not bad. We let the treatment keep going. I'll just usually just brush this off just to get rid of most of the stuff on it. Some of the stuff on it. You can clearly see the mites though. And it means the treatment is working. So now let's go check the other hive. Um. Okay, so uh, we could definitely see some mites on those bottom boards. So that's a good sign. It's a sign that the treatment is working and killing mites and knocking them off bees. So that's what we want to see. On the second hive, which is always my troubled hive, I'm going to have to inspect a little bit as to why that, uh, why there are so many dead bees on that bottom board. That really shouldn't be the case. So, unless unless there's a hole in the screen or maybe they're getting in somewhere, um, either way, it's something that I've got to look at. But mite treatment is working. I'll give it another few days at the seven-day mark. I'll take the strips off, and then get back into the hives and start uh, thinking about feeding them. So that's it for now, and thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee.